Hello everybody, I am Mole Wazd, and this is Dishonored once again. And we got a few more things in here worth grabbing before starting up on that next mission. They, I think I grabbed everything I needed. Okay, Thomas, the is assassin. It time to go, sir? Yes, it's time to go. Let's go sneak into Cold Ridge Prison and break out somebody who's in there for a lot of bad things that she did. That's what we're doing. I missed a little bit of coins, but who cares? Let's just go and get Lizzie out of Delilah there. Delilah doesn't leave Brigmore Manor anymore. She doesn't have to. Which means I have to come to her. The manor's upriver, far out past the quarantine line. I'll need a ship. I've lived in Dunwall's underworld a long time. I know the players, the gang leaders, madams, corrupt officials. But what I need is a smuggler who knows the river, someone I can trust. It's a reflection of Dunwall, or perhaps myself, that after all these years, the best choice I have is Lizzie Stride. And Lizzie Stride is in jail. Yeah, so we gotta go get her out. But first, we got some favors! Like getting to be disguised as an overseer to slip in more easily, which I'm not going to do because that's too easy and I want more things going on here. I'll take that misplaced rune and leave those other favors to go for later. And I am ain't got enough monies to go buy in any of them upgrades. But I can never go wrong with an ass load of sleepy darts. Doubt. Lizzie Stride is in there. But we don't know where they're holding her. Fantastic. They're playing overseer music from the loudspeakers. We couldn't get in. That's great. One of their prisoners. A spy guard at Dunwall Tower. The guards have sent for overseers to investigate. <laughs> I'll be back with Lizzie Stride. Stay hidden. Yeah, you do that. I'm going in there. And misplaced runes right over there. And there's the overseer noise. Loudspeakers playing that music that disabled my magic and my double jump because that's caused by evil magic and such well give it that rune and is that enough for yes it is overpowered bullshit bang now i'll be able to get out of any situation imaginable assuming i have access to my devil magic and in most cases i would but with overseer noise going on like that, I I won't be able to use it right here. And I won't be going up against a lot of overseers in this Brigmore Witches DLC. And that's not what I want. There we go. They don't hesitate to kill their own. Yep, they're about to be executing people. And I say no to that. There you go. That is one of the special actions you can do for this mission. You can stop them from executing the guard who helped Corvo escape. I like doing that. And if I had gone with the Overseer Disguise, I wouldn't have been forced to take this alternate way to get into the place. And then I wouldn't have been able to do that. And I think that guy might have saw me. You go ahead and take your nap, and let's just make sure I got my sleepy darts ready in case somebody gets any bright ideas. Okay, I'm good. And yeah, there is a guy there. He just didn't go and do nothing he was going to regret because he knew he was going to regret his decisions, and there's a bone charm out there. A bone charm that I want. And how did that guy not see me? 
I believe that bone charm's over here underneath the thing of a doodle. Yep, there it is. Now let's slip on in there and pull ourselves a Lizzie Stride out of her jail cell. That's what we's gonna do here. Slip inside, unnoticed, and take care of any and all problems. And let's just not get arc piloned. I can't have that happening. These crazy ass security systems of theirs just vaporizing people. And I am not in the mood to get vaporized. Now, which way? Hmm. Which way, which way? I guess this way. It's the only way I can think of. And make absolutely certain that there's nobody going to go seeing me. I do not want to be seen by the wrong person while skulking around illegally inside of a prison. That would lead to all sorts of shenanigans. And I don't have the key to that door. Well, that's fine. It's not likely anybody's going to come patrolling up here. And, okay, that ain't who I thought it was. And I saw through the wall, but Lizzie's right here. In rough shape. Yep, right here in cell number A21. That's what I need. A21. Now I just need to go open the damn thing. And that's done over there in the control place. I just need to find a way over there. And that should not be too difficult. Cell A21. Hear me! Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm coming for you! So it's the last thing I do, I'm gonna kill you! Sure. Ah, that looks like a way to go. Hey, here we are. Just to unlock a cell? Because they paid off a car. I rem uh oh. It makes sense to the Lord. I remember or I at least I think there's you can actually find Barrister Timch in one of the cells. And I have made one hell of an oopsie here. I need to get lost real fast. And unfortunately, I led these guys right to where I need to be. Well, this is a little bit of a bad now, isn't it? Ow. Come on, ass wagons. Show me what you got. Okay, he got away. Not making the same mistake twice. There you go, that's an awful lot of blood for a sleepy dart hitting this guy, but it, it confirms he's unconscious just by looking at him. Cannot deny that he isn't unconscious. And now there's this controls no... all the cell doors. Yep. And it was A twenty one that I needed. And that opens Lizzie's cell. Let's go get her up on out of here. And not go blundering into a bunch of guards. And there is a rune in there. A rune that I want. Now if I can... Poof. There you go. I got you. That's a dead person, and something nasty went down in here, and that right there is an ass load of gold, rune, and what's this say? Is she strapped in right? Good. Hmm. Doesn't look like much, does she? Comfortable? All right. 
We'll get this done. Let's start with how you got into Dunwall Tower in the first place. Was it one of the servants that let you in? One of the guards? Nothing. All right. Corporal, use the hammer. That's right. The smaller one. Interrogation? <laughs> huh. Can't really tell if she felt that. Don't want to break anything. Let's try again. How did you... Wait. You hear a kind of ringing in your ears. What's happening to her face? Is she going to... Oh no! Oh no! Shoot her! Shoot her! Shoot! Well, that interrogation didn't go very well, now did it? Ain't that right, you charred corpse? I guess this is what the... Overseers were coming to investigate. They did mention overseers were coming to investigate something. How the hell did that overshoot like know that? She had it. Why'd she there take we money? go. Probably right. At least I wasn't noticed and didn't draw a shit ton of unwanted attention to myself and other people. Now we gonna go and get that set. Now that the cell's open, let's pull Lizzie up on out of there and get moving. I'll have to carry her out. Well, shit. I kind of missed a little dialogue by not talking to her before pulling the lever, but whatever. That just gives you a reason to play the game for yourself. That little bit of dialogue, and of course the high chaos things that I ain't gonna do on this playthrough. <coughs> now, I need to escape, preferably undetected. That's the way I like to do things. The Sokolov radio interdiction being device or arc pylon is for use only now, by personnel trained in proper Almost there. Gotta slip through the place with the overseers jams. They got some weird taste in music, but who am I to judge? I ain't got nothing to judge them about. All I got is this unconscious lady on my shoulder, and she's about to get the freedom she's always wanted. And then she's going to help me whether she likes it or not because I saved her sorry ass. All I gotta do is jump down in the thing and then carry her into the sewer and he's all good. All good. Everyone happy and nobody is dead, except the people that are already dead, like this guy. There we go. We're safe. We're in the clear, Lizzie. You got nothing to worry about, except maybe the nasty things I might want you to do in return for this rescue here. There we go. She's beaten, but not dead. See that her wounds get attention. It will be done. Well, all right. All quiet, sir. Ready to go. Yep. Let's get the fuck Let's up go. on out of here. I don't feel like searching this place from top to bottom for runes and bone charms that I might have missed. Hey, never detected except for that one accidental oopsie that I pulled before. And now we're off to Draper's Ward, apparently. Dunwall is changing fast. Six months ago, Draper's Ward was where Dunwall's rich and well-born strolled and shopped and tried to be seen. The plague burned through it in days. Today, it's a battleground where two street gangs fight over the spoils. The Hatters and Lizzie's gang, the Dead Eels. Lizzie Stride was the boss until Edgar Wakefield betrayed her and took her place. And the riverboat. Yeah, that's the what kind she would have told me if I had talked to her before wall. letting her out. I don't judge him. I've done worse myself. But I need that boat. Edgar Wakefield and I have business. Yep. 
Some dirty, nasty business that needs to be taken care of. Sunken crate. Allied whalers dumped a crate loaded with supplies overboard near the Undyne. You will have to dive to retrieve the contents. Or the hidden rune, which I don't really need. I don't think I'm actually going to do any of these. I already got all the runes and shit that I wanted. Now let me get more of that so... Oops. No. Do not do that. I accidentally pressed B. The new Monster Hunter game just came out for the Switch and the... Nintendo buttons put A where B is, and B where A is, so that's got me a little backwards. I'm sure you understand, damn you Nintendo buttons, getting all up in my veins like that. The textile mill used to run off a water wheel before the canal went dry. It started up again recently, and whatever the Hatters did to get it working has enraged the dead eels. They're fighting in the streets. Yep. That's just great. Now we gotta go through a gang war. Sword ain't yours. We got here first. Bring out the geezer. We've been here eight years. We ain't leaving. <laughs> When's your old man coming out to fight? Well, while We've these two are busy fighting you, each idiot. other. They won't notice a certain devish, devilishly handsome assassin slipping by with the help of magic powers. Now, let's just keep on moving. Undetected as always. And finally a nice little spot. There we go. Gotta get to the riverfront, take back the boat. And then once we get that boat back, there's just the matter of getting it working again by taking back what the Hatters stole from the eels in the first place. And poof. So you know the Rothwell place got shut down. And now let's just not be seen by them. There we go. Nice and easy getting to the riverfront. And then there's the matter of getting onto the boat and taking down Edgar Wakefield. That's what I need to take Thank care of. Eh, damn it, let me up there. Lizzie enjoyed it more. There we go. Even Lizzie never drowned victims in a sack. And there's the boat, the Undine, Undine, whatever the what the hell you want to call it. How's he gonna top that? And poof. There was somebody there, just now. Got me a corrupted bone charm. Wakefield sealed himself in the cargo hold of the Undine. Smuggling ships like this one often have a hatch underneath for dumping contraband if they get caught. Perhaps the Undine is no different. Hmm. Useful information. But there was definitely somebody there. Something that didn't look like one of my snassins. And then they just dis a poofed Gone. You ever get that creepy feeling of being watched? I've had that a bunch lately. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to have fun with being watched while I sneak into your ship. There's a dude in there that needs a good old-fashioned the knocking boat. out. Bloop. And now, there be the hatch. Open that thing. And... Get all up in there. All right. Now there you are, Wakefield. Why did I, I think this would work? Waiting for you to not be paying attention so I don't have to waste one of my sleep bolts on you. There you go, turn it around right when you're not supposed to. Time to signal, Lizzie. There we go. Got him. Take your shit. And now we go and call in Lizzie Stride. Lizzie's boat is small than I remember. What do you mean, remember? You've been here before, Dowd? Probably. He did say something about knowing Lizzie. And there it is. Toot toot. And here we go. Lizzie Stride is assuming control of the dead eels now. She's ordered them to give you safe passage. And now they are no longer hostile towards me. Yeah. And there's Your Lizzie Edgar giving a speech. Wakefield sent speech. me up to be taken by the City Watch. And you followed him. Took his orders. But you know what? 
I forgive you. All of you. I'm filled with love. But the following people each owe me a finger. A finger? Logan, Douglas, Bang Bang, Ferris, Pigface, the Bakers, and Annabelle. Shit. Two <laughs> from you, Annabelle. Have a good night. Well, some people is losing fingers tonight. And perhaps we will see that, but not really. I ain't gonna hang around long enough for that. And then we're gonna take care of the rest of this mission in the next episode, because I'm all out of time with this one. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're watching. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Bye!